How's it going everyone? This is MedCat and today we're going to talk about adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP, and the different parts associated with it. So first we have to draw ATP and that's something you should be pretty familiar with for the MCAT just because ATP is such an essential biomolecule. The next thing we might want to take a look at are the different components of ATP. Our first component here that I'll circle is our nitrogenous base adenine. This is one of the five nitrogenous bases that you should probably get to know for the MCAT as well because believe it or not they actually do expect you to be able to recognize and differentiate these different structures. So things like adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine, and uracil. The next structure that we're looking at is our ribose ring. This is a five carbon structure with a one prime carbon, a two prime carbon, a three prime, a four prime, and a five prime. This two prime carbon is usually deoxygenated when we look at something like deoxoribonucleic acid or DNA, but in ATP it's going to be retained, so keep that in mind. And then finally we'll have three phosphates, phosphate groups. And based on their separation from this ribo ribose ring, we're going to label them alpha, beta, and gamma, those first three letters in the Greek alphabet. And when we hydrolyze ATP to ADP, we're going to lose this gamma phosphate. And when we hydrolyze ATP to AMP, or adenosine monophosphate, we'll lose both the beta and gamma phosphate units here. So that's all you need to know about the structure of ATP for test day. That's it for today's MedCat video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.